It is kind of interesting, isn't it? You know, how do you go from nursing to financial planning? Our focus really is on the big picture. It's really uh, on the financial planning and helping our clients crystallize in their minds what they really want their life to look like. As we manage our clients' financial portfolios, let's begin to think about and ask questions about their social portfolios as well. Always remember, by the way, those of you who are listening today and watching this, this video, this is based on what we know today, right? This is, they're, they're still making the sausage. These rules can change between now and when and if this thing eventually gets passed. So stay tuned. We'll be doing probably another podcast, but in the meantime, look at worst case scenario and understand that now is the time that most employers are requiring you to make an election on your deferred comp plan. You may or not may not have been involved in it. This is the time to look at it really closely because worse comes to worse. You're reducing your taxable income. Even if the tax rates stay exactly the same, you're just taking additional money and putting it away for later on. It's, it's, a, it's a forced savings. It, depending on your employer, and you have to understand the rules of your plan and understand potential risk, but boy, you know, it's good sound planning anyway. But I do think MIT was really looking for financial advisors of the future. And there's no shortage of advisors out there, but the advisors that are really doing it right and are focusing their practice that way, to be one of 12, I think is incredibly impressive. And yet, Adam, when you really think about it, the skill sets are really very similar. When I was a nurse, I had a patient or maybe two. I had to understand absolutely everything about that patient. What was normal for them, what was abnormal, their labs, their x-rays, etc. When the doctors come in, they're specialists, they're a cardiologist, they're a pulmonology, etc. The nurse is the one that understands the patient. And financial planning is very much the same way to understand the whole person. It's not just about the portfolio or the insurance or the benefits. It's about the portfolio, the insurance, the benefits, and the kids. And most importantly, what's really healthy for that family when it comes to their money. Invest in your business. If you're gonna be in this business, you wanna know in you wanna have a business that's gonna be able to provide a service that clients want and need. 